Okay, I'm going to do a screen recording to walk you through a little mask demo. <clears throat> That's a little bit more specific than the one I sent before. This is really kind of to prepare you for what's on the quiz, and it will walk you through some mask things. So you should be able to see um, the uh, open After Effects right here that doesn't have a project saved, so follow me. Um, when you open After Effects, you just get this generic interface. So the first thing you want to do is say File, Save As, <clears throat> and make sure you name it what it is and put it someplace where you can find it. So I'm going to call this um, Bunny Bones Demo because we're going to be working with some images of a rabbit and a skeleton. I don't know what it is with me and skeletons, but it seems to do the trick. Um, and I'm going to put it on my desktop, I have a folder called Tidy Desk where I put everything. So in Tidy Desk, I'm going to make a new folder called um, A uh, A E Demos. Okay, After Effects Demos, create, and it's going to go in there. BunnyBonesDemo.aep and say save. Okay, so I've got this now, and what I want to do is I'm going to get two, uh, I think two files from Canvas. So here, if you're logged into Canvas there is a files tab. If you're not logged into Canvas, pause this a moment, log into Canvas, and in the class there's a files place here, files. Go to um, mask demo, right here, mask demo, and you'll see some images. I'm gonna focus on the uh, flaming rabbit and the rabbit anatomy. I'm gonna leave out frost and water for now, and maybe do those separately. So what you can do is download these. Flaming rabbit, over here you can say download. And this one, Rabbit and Anatomy, download that. It's going to put them in your Downloads folder. <clears throat> and here in After Effects, I could um, I could download them straight from my Downloads folder, or I could go move them. So just to be a good citizen, I'm going to move them. I'm going to go to my Finder, and in um, Downloads, there these two are. So if you Control Click, you can say Move to or Wait, where can I do this? Duplicate and make it. Um, if I duplicate this, duplicate, no, I don't want to, that's not what I want to do. I want to move it into the folder where my stuff is. So what I'll do is do this, finder, uh, file, new finder window, in tidy desk, in AE demos, I'm going to put it in here. In this AE demos, I'm going to take flaming rabbit, put it in, drag it from this finder, Oop. drag it from, like this, watch. Flaming rabbit, into here, and rabbit anatomy. In here like that. The reason I'm doing this is so they're all in the same place. So that this After Effects, <clears throat> this After Effects project, when it looks for these two, they will both be in the same folders as After Effects demos and they won't go offline. Okay? So here I am in After Effects. Um, it's called Bunny Bones Demo. I'm gonna import those things. File, import multiple files. Tidy desk, AE demos. I want this one. I'm going to hold down shift and hit that. So both of these are going to come in. Open. And cancel. All right, so in my After Effects, I've got this one, Fire Rabbit, this one, Bones. Okay. And what I'm going to do is make a new composition to play with these. So composition, new composition. And I'll call this Mask Demo 1. It's 1920 by 1080. It's 25 seconds long. This will do the trick. Say OK. OK? So in Mask Demo 1, what I want to do is I'm going to bring in um, Anatomy is the Bones. I'm going to bring, actually, before I bring these, I'm going to change the name of them. I'm going to call Flaming Rabbit. I'm going to hold down Control and click on it and say Rename. And I'll call this Flames. OK? And this one, I'm going to Control click on it and rename it and call it Bones just so that, I did it in all caps, so it's really easy to see and very legible, and it's not confusing and it's not overly detailed, okay? Just because I like things to be uh, <clears throat> streamlined and easy to read and not confusing, right? Because Lord knows this stuff is time consuming and confusing enough. So, in Mask Demo 1, I'm gonna bring in Bones. Take Bones, drag it down, and drop it. Now you can see that it is, if I look at this a little bit smaller, that black rectangle is the size of my comp and the bones are smaller. That's fine. 
I like that. I say fit. <clears throat> For this demo, it's fine. And then I'm going to take the flames, put it on top like that. Now, flames are smaller, right? What I'm going to do is click on the word flames and hit S for scale, hold down shift and hit T for opacity. Okay? And scale, I'm going to scale this up so that it is getting to be about the size of the bones, make it larger. And I'm going to take the opacity, I'm not setting any keyframes, I just want to I want to make it larger and I want to make it more transparent. So I'm going to take opacity and drag it down so that I can see the bones through it. And what I want to do here is I want to line these up. I want to make the um, the fire fire rabbit <clears throat> about the size and shape of the bones rabbit. Now you can see when I um, when I slide this, what I'm going to look at lining up is I'm going to line up the flat bottom of the fire and the bones are both flat and the eye. So I'm going to take this scale value and break the chain link. Click on the chain link to break it. What this will do is let me stretch it vertically. If I take the Y value and stretch it, I can do a combination of move. I'm going to line up that round eye and the flat bottom so that really what I'm after here is I want the eye to, to line up with the eye and the flat bottom to line up with the flat bottom. And then I find that it's close enough to make this, <clears throat> this mask effect work for the demo, right? So if you do that, I'm making the flames, I'm stretching the flames to make it more vertical, larger, and I'm using transparency op opacity so I can see the bones through it, okay? Then I will jack that back up to 100%, and what happens is the fire's on top. If I turn the fire off, I can see the bones underneath like that, okay? So what I've got is fire on top, Flames on top, bones on the bottom, okay? Now, on the flames layer, I'm going to use the shape mask here. This rectangle tool, if I have a layer selected, the rectangle, the shape tool, whether it's a rectangle or an ellipse or any of these shapes, the shape tool will make a mask if I have a layer selected. If I don't have a layer selected, it'll make a shape. See how it says fill stroke? This is kind of like Adobe Illustrator if you're familiar with it. If I don't have a layer selected and I use the shape drawing tool, it'll make a shape. Watch. I'll do it um, incorrectly to show you what happens. If I don't have a layer selected and I take my shape tool and I dr click and drag a shape, it'll make a rectangle. And look, down here, it made a thing called shape layer. It's not wrong. I just don't want that in this case, right? Sometimes that's what you want. Right now, it's not what I want. So I'm going to click on that shape, delete it. What I want to do is <clears throat> if I select, <coughs> excuse me, if I select a layer and have this selected, the shape tool, when I, as soon as I click, it's going to look like I'm clicking and holding right now. <laughs> it looks like the flames disappeared. I'm still holding my click. I'm clicking and dragging. What it's doing is, <clears throat> as soon as I clicked, it's making something called mask one. Mask one is this. And it's set to add. Add means it's showing the flames inside the mask. Okay. I made a rectangle mask. It's showing this flames layer inside mask one because it's set to add. Okay. If I set it to subtract, it'll flip it and it makes um, the pixels of flames show up outside the mask. And now this mask is like a hole cut in the flames layer. Okay. So I'm going to pause this for now and pick this up in the next demo.